Okay, so today we're going to focus on an equation of a straight line. All right, so if you remember GCSE, we looked at straight lines, and um, they'd be of the form y equals mx plus c, if you recall that, where m is the gradient of the line, and c is where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? So we call it the, the y-intercept, if you remember. So this is the situation that we've got set up here, where we've got a line of gradient m, and the intercept is where it cuts the y-axis at the point C there. So you can see my coordinate, 0 for x, C for y there. So what we're going to do now is choose any point on this line. Any point P could be anywhere. So place it there for convenience. And we call that point x, y. So what I can do now is work out the gradient. So if you remember the work from yesterday, from the other day, um, we've got the... Um, Gradient being y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the difference in y's, which is like the rise, isn't it? Okay. Divide by the difference in x's, which is like the step across, wasn't it? Now in this case, my y, y2 would be y, yeah? Because if I call this x2, y2, okay? And then this x1, y1, all right? I can then, um, my y2 will be here, so that'll be y, and my y1 will be c, so y minus c. In the denominator then, my x2 will be x, take away my x1, which is 0. So I have that there. And of course, the, the bottom, the denominator here just becomes x, doesn't it? Okay, so I've got, um, so I've got, x on the bottom and what I can do then algebraically I can take this x over to the side and multiply because I'm dividing here take it over multiply so I have mx equals y minus c and then rearrange this take the minus c over I end up having mx take that minus c over becomes a plus c so I've got the equation which we learned to GCSE okay y equals mx plus c now if we consider second situation here okay where we've got um, another straight line, okay, but perhaps we don't know where it crosses the y-axis, okay, so we don't know what c is in this case, okay, so we've got a general point here, okay, which um, we considered in, in the first uh, example there, okay, so general point x, y, okay, but we're given this line, and we're given the gradient to be m, and we're also given a point, x1, y1, a particular point on this line. Okay, so we're not given the y-intercept. We don't know what that is, but we're given a particular point. Okay, so what I can do again, I can work out the gradient, okay, um, by doing um, m equals, and remember it's y2 take away y1, so that'll be y take away y1, divide by x2, which is x, take away x1 okay so I've got this sort of set up here and what I can do then with this denominator I can take it over the other side and multiply by m yeah because I'm dividing here if I take it over and, and multiply we get this now this is known as the general equation of a straight line so we've got y minus y1 if we write it like this equals mx minus x1 so we need to remember this, okay? This will be our general formula, our general equation for a straight line. So it's worth putting a box around it, okay? And we can utilize this when we know the gradient m, so where m is the gradient, okay? And we know that the line goes through a particular point, okay? In this case, it goes through the point A, which we know to be x1, y1, okay? So we need to remember that general equation now, and we're going to use it now in the first exercise here.